this video, we're going to look at graphing piecewise functions. So given the formula for a piecewise function, can we sketch its graph? Well, let's give it a try. We have the function f of x equals, and then there are two pieces to this function. So we see the curly brace, and then the function equals 2 if 0 is less than or equal to x is less than 3. In other words, if x is between 0 and 3, including the 0. And the function is equal to negative x plus 5 if 3 is less than or equal to x is less than 5. So we've got a graph in two pieces. Let's just write out the two lines we actually have. We have the line y equals 2 for the first piece, and we use that if uh, 0 is less than or equal to x is less than 3. And we have the line y equals negative x plus 5 if 3 is less than or equal to x is less than 5. So I'm just writing it out with the y equals to make it a little clearer what we're doing. You may have noticed a y equals 2 should be a horizontal line, and y equals negative x plus 5, that would be a decreasing line because the slope is negative. That will just kind of help us to make sure we know what we're doing as we graph. So let's go ahead and sketch these two lines in with a pencil first. I'm going to start with y equals 2. I'm just going to draw y equals 2, the whole function. I'm going to use a ruler here to help me out. All right, so here's a horizontal line at 2, written in pencil, drawn in pencil. And then the other line we want to draw is negative x plus 5. So that would be having a y-intercept of 5 and a slope of negative 1, which is a perfect diagonal slope going down. It's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to use a pen to darken in the pieces that are actually on this graph of f of x. So in other words, I'm going to take into account the domain and then erase my penciled parts. So I'm going to grab a pen and say, okay, y equals 2, I'm only using that if 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 3. So I'm using that between 0 with a closed point and 3 with an open point, and I want everything between those. So I'm going to sketch in a darker line here. And then I'm going to just erase the line that was there, so erase the penciled in line. And I can see what's left. And then I'm going to go draw the second part. I want to use y equals negative x plus 5 between 3 and 5, including the 3. So now I'm going to do between 3, x equals 3, including the 3. And now with my pen, I'm taking this graph all the way down to where x equals 5 which is at 0, and at 0 I have an open circle there because the domain that I'm using says that we use it between 3 and 5, not including the 5. And now I'll erase my penciled in line, and what we have left is a piecewise function for this graph. It's a horizontal line from 0, 2 to 3, 2, and then it's a decreasing line from 3, 2 to 5, 0 with an open circle at 5, 0. And this function that I've drawn, it is actually a function. It does pass a vertical line test. We can actually use a ruler to show that. Anywhere that I put this vertical line across the function, it's only hitting the function at one point. And so that passes a vertical line test. It is the graph of a function. We can actually check our graph in Desmos as well. We can write both of these functions in Desmos and use curly braces after the function to indicate the domain. For example, we can write y equals 2, that gives us a horizontal line at 2, and then we can include the curly braces and say 0 is less than or equal to x is less than 3. So there's the first piece of the function we had. Then we can say y equals negative x plus 5 and use our curly braces. And then we can indicate that 3 is less than or equal to x is less than 5. That gives us the second piece. Now if you'd like to draw the open circle on your graph, you can do that as well by plotting a point at 5, 0, and then changing that point style to be an open circle. On all three graphs, we can change the color to make them the same. And if you'd like to indicate the endpoint at 0, 2, we can do that as well by adding the point 0, 2 with the closed circle and changing it to the same color. And now we have a lovely graph of the piecewise function we had on the other page. 
this would be a great place to pause this video and try graphing a piecewise function on your own. Try using the same method. Draw the two lines with a pencil. Use a pen to sketch out the portion that obeys the domain. Use open and close circles as you need to. And then erase your pencil marks. The function is f of x equals 2x minus 3 if x is less than 3 and f of x equals negative x plus 4 if x is greater than or equal to 3. Give it a try. Come back when you're finished. And we're back. Let's start by graphing the line 2x minus 3 in pencil. That's a y-intercept of negative 3 and a slope that's equal to 2 over 1. So from this point, I'm going to go up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1. Nice increasing slope. I'm going to draw my line. Before I draw the other graph, let's just figure out what we need for this graph. We want to use this graph if x is less than 3. Let me grab a pen and x is less than 3 from the point 3 comma 3, which is open, and then going down this line to the left. All right, now let's erase the pencil marks and we've got that first part of the graph drawn. Now let's take our pencil and draw y equals negative x plus 4. That's a y-intercept of 4 and then a slope of negative 1, which is like negative 1 over 1. So I'll go down 1 and to the right 1, down 1 and to the right 1. Draw in my function with pencil so we can see the whole thing. Now it's really important that you actually look back at the domain to see where we're using this line. We're going to use it when x is greater than or equal to 3. On this line, we have the point 3 comma 1. So we're using this function whenever x is greater than 3, which means we're using it to the right of that point. Now I'll erase my pencil marks and I've got a lovely piecewise function composed of two lines, an increasing line that goes through the points 1 comma negative 1 and increases up to the point 3 comma 3 with an open circle. And then it jumps down to 3 comma 1 with a closed circle and continues in a decreasing manner with a slope of negative 1. And just again to remind you, you can check these graphs with Desmos, make sure you've got the right graph, and you can even include the open circle and the closed circle as points on your graph by manipulating the style of the points. Let's recap. To graph a piecewise function, first think about the two pieces as two separate functions with different domains. Graph the two pieces in pencil, then use pen to darken the pieces that are actually on the graph and erase the pencil parts. The part that you see when you're done should pass a vertical line test. It should be a function.